Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a tabletop review today, and to start off, we're going to take a look at this. And this isn't the review. I've got an item coming up for you for review, but this is an RTL SDR uh, dongle. And this is a V3. And I got this several years ago because I wanted to listen to ham bands and whatnot through my laptop. And this allowed me to do that. And while technically it could pick up shortwave, it wasn't very good at it. And you had to use a program called SDR Sharp, and then you had to enable direct sampling. And it wasn't really built to pick up HF or shortwave signals, kind of in that range of the radio spectrum. So um, while it could work, I knew that I wanted to move on to something else. So the next thing I got was this unit right here. This is an RSP1A from SDR Play. I don't know if you can see the writing on there. SDR Play. Now this was closer to $100 or maybe even a little bit more. However, this SDR, which is a software defined receiver, was um, much more um, equipped to pick up all different kinds of radio signal, including shortwave, and it does a very good job at it. Again, you have to use it in conjunction with a laptop. You have to plug it in, or um, maybe a Chromebook. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one only works with uh, a laptop because of the software that comes with it. And the software that comes with it is great and everything, but again, you're tied to a computer with this, and you don't have another option. Excellent, excellent device, but you're tied to a computer. And also, it's not cheap. It's pretty expensive. Um, I mean, for, for what it is. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's over $100. And I'm not even sure if they make this one anymore. You might have to buy a different model. However, Banggood was kind enough to send me something that has kind of uh, changed my perspective on things. This is the ATS Mini V4. This is also a software-defined radio. Now, this one is the one in metal. There are two versions. There's one in an injection, injection molded plastic, and then there's one that is this aluminum alloy metal. And I decided to go with the metal. I said, you know, I think that's the one that I'd be interested in. And I think it's the one that my viewers would be interested in. So please send me that one. And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. So again, this is also a software defined radio, but there's a twist. This software defined radio is all in one. Everything you need to listen to um, shortwave, HF, or FM broadcasts, even CB radio, is contained within this little dongle. It has a great little screen on it you'll see in just a second. And in fact, it's not a dongle, though it can kind of act like one. Let me turn the volume down because we're not going to get anything here at the moment. You can see it's got a wonderfully sharp display on it. And right now, there's two different kinds of displays that are available, or two different layouts. Right now, I have the one with the meter at the bottom, but there's another one where it changes a little bit. I can show you that here, actually. You go into Setup, and you use this scroll wheel on the side for everything. You just turn it or click. It's a lot like kind of the original iPod, if you had one of those, which is really cool. Um, let me see here. Scroll, zoom in. You here we go. UI layout. So right now I have it on the S meter, but you can go to default, and it shows you like where you are within the spectrum at the moment. So again, this can pick up AM, FM, HF, and CB, and shortwave. Now you can select the bands in here. And it'll say CB, um, VHF is FM, and then it has the different ham bands like 160 meter, 70 meter, 80 meter, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> that kind of thing. But it used to, in some of the older firmware versions, say like SW1, SW2, SW3 for shortwave. Now in this firmware version, they don't have it listed that way. I'm hoping they bring that back, but it's still usable and you can actually sweep the entire spectrum that this can pick up if you select the all mode that is available in this. Now right now, this can't pick up UHF and it can't pick up NOAA weather stations. That's not to say that it won't be able to in the future. I was reading a thread where they're experimenting with being able to pick up UHF, which would be really cool. Um, 
But the thing about this is the firmware is not set in stone. They keep updating the firmware for this. And there are other firmwares out there that let you do cool things with it, like decode Morse code or what we call CW in the ham world. Um, <clears throat> I haven't played with any of that yet because I just kind of wanted to give you the standard of what you would get if you order this. So unlike this and this, all you need is this to listen to the majority of at least broadcasts out there, but also most of the ham bands, um, not including, you know, VHF, UHF ham bands. Those aren't in here yet, but all the HF ham bands, the ones that you can like, you know, hear around the world, the ones that bounce off the ionosphere, those you'll be able to pick up on here. Very cool. I really like the fact that there is a super simple interface to use with this, where it's just a click and scroll wheel. That's it. This is very powerful and the software that it comes with is very powerful but that being said power leads to complexity and the software for this is pretty darn complex this has everything within this menu and depending on what you click and scroll on that's what you can change from volume to band you can save channels to memory you can change um, how far you want to step as you're seeking up and down the frequency ranges you can switch to upper side band or lower side band am or fm and i know that's important to a lot of people out there that if they can't get upper side band lower side band they don't want it well this does it and the coolest thing is this is under fifty dollars to purchase this was not under fifty dollars i don't remember how much this was but again this doesn't work on its own you have to pair it with something else this stands on its own entirely and that's pretty cool now this is v4 of this device, the ATS Mini V4. And that's important because they did make some improvements to it. There's an option where you can turn off the screen. So if you're hearing interference on your audio signal because the screen is on, which can happen, you can actually blank the screen and remove that from the equation. On the side, there's an earphone jack and there is an earphone amplifier included now in the circuit. Also, the earphones will work like an antenna. So if you had a Walkman back in the day, this does the same thing. The older versions didn't do that. Also, I had an older version of this and it suffered from parasitic drain on the battery. This unit does not do that. They got rid of the parasitic drain issue. So if you charge this, it holds its charge, it keeps its charge until you use it. When I charged my old one, I could let it sit there for a month and not use it and come back to a dead battery. Speaking of the battery, the device is charged and interfaced with a computer via USB-C. It can also be connected to via Wi-Fi. This does have a Wi-Fi um, connection that you can enable and then you can access it from a basically a web page. Um, I have not done that yet. I haven't set this up yet, but that is possible and there are videos on YouTube on how to do that. This is also how you update the firmware by plugging a cable into this and then into your laptop. Uh, Tech Minds has a video out there on how to do that, so I'm not going to cover that either. The power switch is on the left-hand side here. Just one little switch on and off. Super simple to use. It does come with two antennas. It comes with this telescopic one, which I'll take off just so you can see it in its entirety. And it comes with this one, which you might think is a magnetic loop. I know, maybe you don't. It's not. This is just a wire that's coiled around in a loop. They call it a donut WB antenna. Now, as with any radio, your reception will depend on the kind of antenna you're using. When I listen to shortwave, I hook this up to a magnetic loop that I have in my attic. So I can hear places like Romania or, you know, wherever. Because do these work? Absolutely. Yes, I, I was able to pick things up on both of these but not as well as a dedicated antenna, you know, the powered antenna um, that's, you know, in a really good place. Um, hooking up a long wire to this, if you have the telescopic on, that's going to help you out big time with your reception of either HF from hams or shortwave if you're listening to that. Um, 
these work well enough definitely for AM, FM, um, and those broadcast bands, no problem. But um, yeah, if you want to really uh, get good reception, get yourself a long wire antenna or um, you know, put a magnetic loop up somewhere and you will be very surprised. Now I tested this on my magnetic loop antenna in my attic, which also hooks up to this. And I have to say, this did just as well as this as far as tuning stations. Now I am going to take this and let you hear a few audio samples from it. Now, the speaker on the back is tiny. It does have an internal speaker. You don't have to use headphones. That being said, it sounds like a tiny speaker. So you're not gonna be blown away by the audio quality, but the reception quality is excellent. So I will take this and we'll listen to the different bands. I'll see what I can find that's clear so you can hear what each one sounds like and we'll be right back by Brady Shopper, but not before he ends at the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Lansdale Catholic. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. As, as Cobble rolls to his left, they've been, they've been really trying to get the first out. half, first time. There's a little underneath route. Pass is caught, and it's good for a first down as Idris Joder will make the catch right at the The cross has Okay, so now you heard what it sounds like, and it also comes with this function configuration card that tells you where in the menu things are located and how to get to them, which is helpful. If you want a full manual on it, you go into settings and there's a QR code that you can use your phone on, and that will take you to a web page that has the full instructions and everything. Also, where you can get firmware updates for this. Again, like I said, this one actually came with the latest firmware, so there was nothing to update, and I'm sure it will be the same for you if you order it. Now the cool thing is this one is often more expensive than the um, injected molded plastic version. However, Banggood has given me a coupon that takes seven dollars off of this which means you're only going to pay two dollars more for this version than the plastic version. And I think that's amazing. And um, Banggood has set up an affiliate link for me that I will put in the description below along with the coupon code so you can use that. This would make a great stocking stuffer. Um, it would make a great gift for any ham geek that you know out there, or any radio geek, or actually any technology geek because we love this stuff. I'm more than just a ham geek. I'm into all sorts of technology. Um, but that's what we focus on on the channel. So. Great gift idea. It definitely will not break the bank if you, you know, if money's tight, I get it. I get it. And that's why I love this kind of stuff. So you can save a ton during Banggood's Black Friday sale using that code. Um, you know, prices will fluctuate, so get while the getting's good, I guess. Um, no hard sales tactics here. I just want to let you know what they tell me. What I what they tell me, I pass on to you. So that is the ATS Mini V4, an exciting little unit to have, and I'm going to keep playing with it and um, see what kind of other firmware out there uh, I can put on it and see what it can do. And uh, maybe I'll make another video on it soon. I'm not sure. But yeah, really neat device and like super tiny. Just cool. All right. So that'll do it. I'm Matt. And remember, when it comes to tech, I've got you covered. <laughs>